Hello folks and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and today we got another whiskey review for you. This time it's JTS Brown. Let's get into it. Okay, here's our bottle for today. JTS Brown Bottle and Bond. Otherwise known in my mind as the little brother of Ev Williams Bottle and Bond. But of course, the history of this bottle is a little more complex than it's just another product from Heaven Hill because GTS Brown is one of the Brown brothers that started Brown Foreman. Of course, there was George Garvin Brown and then GTS Brown, and uh, they started Brown Foreman way back when, which really was just called the Old Forester. And uh, they split up because they had differing ideas on how to go about making whiskey. JTS Brown was the one that kind of wanted to just uh, pump out kind of lower quality whiskey at low cost, whereas George Garvin wanted to make higher quality whiskey. It was more refined and uh, more bougie, let's say. Nonetheless, uh, he did have his own distillery for quite a while, but eventually Heaven Hill would pick up the name brand. And of course, now it's all the same mash bill as Evan Williams. Uh, it's just that, of course, they pick different barrels for the JTS Brown line, but both bonded products, and there you go. So let's go ahead and get some poured and get into this uh, budget bottle here. Let's see what it's all about. All right, so let's get into this nose here. Uh, nice brown sugar, nice molasses. Little bit of caramel, although I would say the brown sugar and molasses are more forward like right there in the front. Little bit of a chocolate note coming through, which is nice. Um, little hints of sour oak, which tells you it's only young. Nice toasty oak showing up. Little bit of barrel char there on the nose. And there's just a light kind of citrus note, something like an orange citrus. Yeah, so all in all, not bad nose at all. Let's go ahead and get into the taste. Okay, so you got nice sweetness up front, nice brown sugar, a little bit of molasses going on. Then you start kind of getting into the barrel char, toasty oak notes, kind of mid palate. Also, this really nice chocolate note shows up there as well. And this really nice spice punch that I appreciate. Uh, definitely like a, some nice baking spices, a nice little cinnamon pop there, kind of a nice sweet cinnamon, kind of pairing with the chocolate and uh, those other notes that I mentioned. Yeah, uh, and then gets a little, little bit of a sour note, kind of heading towards the finish, but not necessarily off-putting. All in all, pretty good so far. Let's go one more sip here and talk about that finish. Okay, so the finish is to me, like a churro. You know, so you get a lot of cinnamon, a lot of sugar, but also there's kind of these bready notes in there as well, like crispy fried bread. Um, yeah, so like, it's like churro, and then also quite a bit of barrel presence, a lot of, quite a bit of char there, nice toasty oaks, um, really nice finish. I would say the finish is probably my favorite part of this experience. Uh, a really nice finish given the price point that's that In my area, this is like 15 bucks. Uh, so, you know, not much to complain about for the price point. Again, I do feel like I probably prefer Evan Williams Bottle and Bond to this, but I would say they're very close. And I would say it's really just a preference of what flavors you prefer. Um, you know, this is more molasses, brown sugar, whereas I feel like I get more of an oak punch and more caramel and more brown sugar in the Evan Williams. So, it's really just whatever you prefer. I think they're both great products, all of coming out of Heaven Hill. And uh, I think either way, you're gonna enjoy them, especially if you're on a budget. These are great bottles to have around. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, you know, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe thing that's right here. And here's other reviews from us right here. And as always, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.